Hi, I'm Sisi. In previous videos, we have talked about what is energy recovery ventilator uh, and uh, the ERV or HRV which do you choose. Today's topic is the types of energy recovery ventilation systems. Generally, heat or energy recovery ventilation systems can come in a variety of forms, but uh, all involve some form of the heat exchanger, uh, like the first type, the rotary thermal wells. The second type is plate or enthalpy heat exchangers. The third type is heat pipes heat exchangers. Today, we to only talk about these three types. The first type, rotary thermal wells. Uh, here is the working principles. The exhaust and outdoor air pass through half of the wheel separately when the wheel rotates. The heat and the moisture are exchanged between the exhaust and outdoor air. And uh, then how it works? The first step is the warm air entry. The wheel rotating at a speed, and the air channel has entered from the cold air into the warm air. The storage mass has been cooled down nearly to the cold air temperature. The second step is mid-warm air. This air channel has already passed half of its time in the warm air. The channel temperature is about the same on the inlet side and on the outside outlet side. The third step is warm air exit. The air channel is on the verge of leaving the warm air. On the inlet side, it has nearly reached the temperature of extract air. The fourth step is cold air entry. After pass over from the warm air side to the cold air side, cold air now flows through the channel. The fifth step is mid cold air. Half of the dwell time in the cold air is over. Uh, temperatures at the inlet and at the outlet are about the same. The last step is cold air exit. The air channel has gone through the cold air zone. The storage mass has been severely cooled. Near the inlet, uh, uh, near the, inlet the temperature has uh, almost reached the temperature of cold air. The thermal wheel are widely built in the HGU or the large energy recovery ventilation systems. Uh, the application including all types of buildings like schools, offices, smoking lounges, hospitals, hotels, clean rooms, uh, swimming pools, airport, bus station, welding, printing operations, or humidity controlled space, and uh, product drying operations. The, now let's move on to uh, type 2, the plate or enthalpy heat exchangers. Uh, the plate heat exchangers are more common than thermal well heat recovery, and uh, which were first produced in the 1920s and have since been widely used in a great number of sectors. According to the material and the structure difference here, I listed four types of heat exchangers. They are cross counter flow enthalpy heat exchanger, uh, cross flow enthalpy heat exchanger, cross flow aluminum heat exchanger and cross counterflow aluminum heat exchanger. Their working, uh, uh, working principles are similar. Uh, for example, like a cross flow aluminum heat exchanger. Two neighbor aluminum foils form a channel for fresh air or exhaust air stream. Heat is transferred when the air stream flow crossly through the channels, and fresh air and exhaust air is totally separated. And uh, here is the airflow channel schematic. Uh, and the heat or enthalpy heat exchangers are widely used uh, for ERV, HRV, or HU. Okay, the last type is the heat pipes heat exchanger. Compared with other heat exchanger, heat pipes are the maybe the may, the lowest maintenance. Uh, here I listed uh, three applications. Number one is the duct installation. Uh, usually connect the air ducts to the heat pipe heat exchanger directly uh, and the installation is easy. Investment uh, can be saved and uh, also it's energy recovery. The second is the heat recovery ventilator. Heat pipe heat exchanger can be installed inside heat recovery ventilation uh, horizontally with the supply fan and exhaust fan to achieve energy recovery. The third one is the air handling unit. It uh, is widely used in air handling units, and uh, 
The issue like this is also including functions of energy recovery, uh, free uh, dehumidification, and uh, relo uh, reheating, uh, etc. Okay, today we mainly talk about uh, above three types of heat or enthalpy heat uh, recovery systems. And I hope my explanation is clear enough. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, welcome to let me know by uh, cc at hottop.com. Uh, for next video, we will talk how to choose a good supplier of energy recovery ventilation systems. Uh, Alright, thanks for your time. Uh, I'm Sissy. See you next time.